Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new paint storage kindly sent to me by Graby. And then for the main feature of today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the light bulb moment which I had whilst emptying all my bottles of paint. I don't know about you, but as a resin artist, I've often had small items which I've made that have had imperfections in them or I've had to sand them and then they needed coating with resin again. And I've wished that there was a way of connecting them to my cup turner so that I could give them a coat of resin and make them just like new again. Well, today I'm going to be showing you just how you can do that with a free and easy cup turner hack. If that's made you curious, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Now, before we begin with today's main project, I just wanted to show you my new paint storage box. It's been very kindly sent to me by Graby and it really has solved quite a big problem in my craft room. As you can see, it's quite large and sturdy. You can probably tell how sturdy it is just by looking at it. And it's got those handy little carry handles. And the clips on the side make sure it keeps really airtight so that all my paint can go in there and not dry out. The inside of the lid has foam on it, which is another thing which helps it to keep very airtight. And on the inside of the box, there are 42 compartments for all my paints and then everything can be kept completely organised. So I'm really happy about this paint storage box and I would highly recommend it. The Graby store has a large range of art products to choose from as well as lots of homeware. So you should definitely go over and have a look. I will put the link in the description as well as a 15% off discount code. They ship to the USA and the UK and the shipping costs are really good too. So grab your discount code and pop on over and see what they've got. I'm so pleased that I've been able to get rid of that cardboard box that I had filled with random bottles and tubes of paint. I do like to get a little bit organised in my craft room. So now all I have to do is take the lid off my box, scoop out the paint I want and pop the lid back on and I'm sorted. Okay, before we go on to today's main project, I wanted to take a moment to thank one of my amazing viewers, Linda Eastmont, for the beautiful card and coasters which you made me and also for the treats which you sent, honey. You know, I think I have the best viewers of all the YouTubers I have the best viewers. <laughs> so thank you, Linda. I'm really, really pleased with my things that you made me and Honey is very pleased with her biscuits. Is that delicious? Is that nice, Honey? You better say thank you to Lynn. Hey, you say thank you, Lynn. Yes, yes. I had some small items which I'd been making for my friend using her uh, wedding flowers and I'd sanded them because I'd had a few issues which I won't go into, you don't really need to know <laughs> but I'd sanded them and I wanted to coat them with resin Now I'd been trying to think of a way of attaching something like this to my cup turner so that I could put resin on, turn the cup turner on and it would just keep turning and the resin wouldn't drip and it would stay nice and even. So sorting out all my paints gave me lots of empty paint bottles and so that's when I had the light bulb moment and I just happened to be coating a light bulb. The moulds for the light bulbs, which you'll be seeing me coating today, were very kindly bought for me by my dear friend Linny, who saw them on my wish list and 
decided to spoil me again. She's always spoiling me. Honestly, I've met the most amazing, wonderful people through this channel. I'm so lucky. So thank you, my dear Linny. I love my moulds. So let me show you what I did. It was so easy and it was such a game changer. You need to make sure that the bottle that you are using has a lid which flips open. That's quite important. Then I used my rotary tool and drilled two small holes in the closed lid. Once I had the holes, all I had to do was hold it up to the light bulb and draw through, well, use a pen to poke through the holes onto the base of the light bulb that I'm using. And then I would know where my screw holes in my bulb would need to be. Then, using my little hand drill, I made two very small pilot holes in the light bulb. The drill bit for this hand tool was too small to go into my rotary tool, so that's why I'm using this little um, hand drill, which is really handy, and it helps if you've got really long fingers like me, <laughs> even if they do look a little bit disjointed at the moment. Once I had my two little pilot holes, all I needed to do was use two small screws to screw the lid to the light bulb. Now, so that the lid didn't flip open once, once it was all on my cup turner, I taped the flip part of the lid to the main body of the lid with some duct tape. But ignore this, don't do this, because it didn't hold very well. And I ended up using glue gun all the way around. So hot melt glue, that's the way to go. Don't use tape like me. <laughs> Tape it all together with hot glue. It comes off easily afterwards and then it's much better. Anyway, now I'm just cutting the bottom off my bottle so that it can be slotted onto my cup turner. Now, obviously, it's going to be too big for the cup turner. So all I did was I got some foam tape and I put the foam tape around the post of the cup turner at, in two different intervals where the bottle would be placed and that just helped to keep it all in place and I wrapped it round three times in the end so it was nice and snug. Then I carefully squeezed the bottle into position and we were ready to go. Just screw the lid onto the bottle and you're ready to apply the resin. And as you can see, that tape is already coming off. Like I said, don't use tape, use hot melt glue. I mixed up some epoxy resin. I've used the transparent resin from Resin Pro and I've put an empty coaster mold underneath to catch any drips and I'm just applying it with my hand. I find that using my hand is the best way to do it. it Make, you can make sure that you don't put too much on. If you put too much on, it can tend to um, go quite uneven. So don't go too far with the resin. Just put enough on to cover it and just keep your eye on it. If you see any bald patches, <laughs> just add a little bit more and spread it around a bit. I'm just using my heat gun to pop any bubbles. And as you can see, it's transformed just you know, all I did was rough sanding. I didn't use really, really fine sandpaper. Um, and all those sanding marks just disappear like magic. I think it's quite amazing. So, yeah, that's a brilliant way to coat your resin pieces if you've got imperfections. So, once the resin's cured, it's just a case of taking it off the bottle and removing your hot melt glue, which I put on after I'd finished filming because I had a bit of a disaster, like I mentioned. And yeah, just take the glue off. You need to just get some little clippers or something to clip through the glue and then you can pull the glue off the lid quite easily so that that lid flips open again. Then just simply remove the screws and you can use that lid again for your next project. And there we have it, a completed light bulb from a light bulb moment. <laughs>
I'm really happy with the results of this cup turner hack. I had another one to do, but I'm not going to go through all the details again. All I'm going to do is show you how I should have done the first one by connecting the flip top lid to the body of the lid with the hot melt glue. And that really, like I've already mentioned, that did work really well. Right, once that I knew that that worked really well, I wanted to find out if I could do it with something that wasn't screwed on. I wanted to see if I could glue something small onto the end of that lid without having to drill it. And so that was my next experiment. And I'm, I've got a little pyramid here. And yeah, you wouldn't be able to do this with anything big <laughs> it just wouldn't hold the weight but this worked and i just wanted to show you it as a final little experiment because you don't necessarily want screw holes the screw holes in those light bulbs were fine because they would get covered up by the housing for the battery at the base of the light bulb but with this one i didn't want screw holes on so this is how i came to the idea see what you think Maybe you don't have a cup turner. Maybe you've always thought you don't need a cup turner because you don't want to make tumblers. Well, now you know there's more than one use for the good old cup turner. And I will put a link in my video description to my cup turner so you can see which one I bought from Amazon. And here we have the coated pyramid. It worked really well, so I'll definitely be doing that again. To get the hot melt glue off the bottom, I did use my heat gun just to reheat it and soften it up, and then I took the glue off. It was a bit hard to get off without doing that. And here are my three finished items all together. And I think you'll agree, it's quite a transformation and it was so easy to do. What do you think to the idea? Please leave a comment and let me know if you're going to have a go at this yourself. My aim in my videos is to help you and to inspire you. And your feedback really helps me to know where to go with future videos. So that's it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, please do so. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.